Today, we're diving into some exciting new updates about the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra, which just surfaced on Keepbench with some jaw-dropping performance figures. If you're eager to know how this phone stacks up against the competition, especially Apple's latest flagship, then stick around because things are heating up. The Galaxy S25 Ultra has shown up in benchmarks before, but the latest test reveals that Samsung's upcoming flagship has cranked up its performance even higher than expected. The highlight? A special version of Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 chipset, clocked to higher frequencies than the standard version. In this newest Geekbench entry, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 on the S25 Ultra shows some impressive numbers. The base frequency for six CPU cores is now clocked at 3.53 GHz, a significant jump from 2.78 GHz. And that's not all. The dual core cluster now reaches a hopping 4.47 GHz, up from 4.09 GHz. These boosts mean we're in for some serious power. So what do these higher CPU frequencies mean for the Galaxy S25 Ultra's performance? Well, let's look at the Geekbench scores. In this latest test, the S25 Ultra scored 3,011 points in the single core test and an incredible 9,706 points in the multi-core test. To put that into perspective, the previous scores were 2,884 and 8,840 respectively. That's a noticeable jump in power. Now, while benchmarks don't always reflect real-world performance perfectly, these numbers give us a solid idea of what the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 is capable of. With higher clock speeds and better efficiency, the S25 Ultra is gearing up to be one of the most powerful devices Samsung has ever made. Here's where things get even more interesting. Everyone knows the iPhone 16 Pro Max is a beast in its own right, powered by Apple's new A18 Pro chipset. But when you compare the Geekbench scores, Samsung might just have the edge. The iPhone 16 Pro Max scored 3331 points in the single core test, beating the S25 Ultra's 3011 points. However, Samsung's flagship absolutely crushes the iPhone in the multi-core test, scoring 9,706 points, compared to the iPhone's 8,106. If you're someone who values multitasking power or runs heavy applications, the Galaxy S25 Ultra could be the device to beat. Samsung has a history of getting special treatment from Qualcomm with their Snapdragon for Galaxy processors. These are custom versions of the Snapdragon chip, tailored specifically for Samsung's devices, and they're usually clocked higher than the regular versions. This year's Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 is no different. In fact, we've seen different versions of the chip appear in benchmarks, with earlier tests showing lower clock speeds for engineering samples. But now, with the final version seemingly ready for the European market, we're seeing those performance cores hitting 4.47 GHz and the mid-range efficiency cores at 3.53 GHz. This puts the Galaxy S25 Ultra on a whole new level, even beyond some of the specs we've seen on the US models, which were clocked slightly lower. If these results hold up, the S25 Ultra might outshine even Apple's A18 Pro chipset in many areas, especially when it comes to multi-core performance and AI capabilities. Samsung has been pushing AI capabilities in its latest devices, and the S25 Ultra will be no exception. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 has been fine-tuned to handle advanced AI tasks while keeping power consumption in check. Despite the higher clock speeds, Qualcomm has done an excellent job managing the power envelope of its Snapdragon chipsets, ensuring that battery life doesn't suffer while delivering top-tier performance. This means you'll get a device that not only excels in terms of raw power, but also manages to stay efficient, making it a great choice for those who want long-lasting battery life and seamless AI-powered features. That's it for today. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section. As always, see you in the next video.